Hello good people, how are you? I trust that you are good. Week 3 is here. I mean week 4. We are adding week 3, alright? And I trust that that week has been so good to you. I hope the week has favored you in a special way. You've seen God through the week and you've seen his mercies and his love. Uh, here I am today to summarize week 3 for you and welcome week 4 for you as well all right yes so i am a rostoben i'm your career counselor and also a life coach so i welcome you to the wrap up of week three it has been a very busy week for you i don't know on your side how the week has been but i trust that the week has been whichever way it has been i trust that it has been a good week for you and if it has not been a good week for you worry not for the week four is here it's another opportunity to make it a better week than week three so whatever happened to your week three it's now in the past and now let us focus into the future as i keep on saying that if you want to progress, if you want to see good things, if you want to succeed, if you want to move forward, then focus to the front. Rarely will you think about the past. Allow me to explain that by giving an analogy, you know. When you are driving, even if you are not a driver, I'm sure you have ever observed a driver driving. When the driver is on the road driving, he focuses to the front. He focuses to the front where he is headed to. And if the driver happens to focus to the back maybe by use of the the rear mirror or maybe using the side mirror whichever mirror that the driver may use to focus to the back you might find him losing his way and maybe getting into the side of the roads or maybe even get getting into a dish which is definitely not what anyone would want to what does that tell you that even in life the same happens if you don't focus to the front if you focus on to what is happening behind you what has happened in the past then chances are that you are going to lose focus and you are not going to succeed you are not going to get to your destination and so therefore my good friend my good uh, friend it's the high time you always focus to the front if the week that has just ended week three has not been a good week for you then worry not week four is another opportunity for you to make it a better week you can always make it a better week so worry not about week three it is past focus to the week four that is coming now let us wrap up this week the week that has just ended if you've been following me keenly over the that past week i have been talking all about self developing your own self that's what i have been focusing on to and so that being the case then allow me to wrap up that week that has just added with the first point and this first point is take control take control you know you cannot just let life happen you have to make life happen can i explain myself that you cannot just let life happen to you you have to make life happen so that means that you are the one on the steering wheel. You are the one to take control. You are the one steering that life. You are the one steering the happenings of your life. That it's not anybody else. It is not the life. It's not the circumstances of your surrounding that are forcing things happen. But it is you to take charge and force things happen in accordance to your will in whichever way that you'd manage. All right. Take control of your finances. Take control of your relationship. Take control of your daily actions. Take control of your thoughts. Take control of everything that you have. Everything that under your control. Take control. Take charge. You know, your life, my life, I take it as a company. You know, think of the big companies. Allow me to mention just about a few. Uh, think of Safaricom as a company. You know, think of uh, Airtel. Think of extranet. Think of uh, not even companies. Think of a school, maybe a high school or even a primary school. Think of our country, Kenya. You know, there's that there's that person at the top level, in the managerial line or in the administrative in my, in my administrative line. There's that person at the top. You know, if it's in a school, that's the principal. If it is in our country, Kenya, that is. The, the, the president if it is in a company maybe like safaricom at the helm there okay you expect to see somebody like the ceo uh, the chairman of the board you know the board is at the top there more so and when you talk of the board see the ceo that's what i want you to see that person is the one in charge of everything that is happening within that company 
Ma, the, our president is the one who is responsible of everything that is happening in our country. Even if he delegates that to other people, it is his responsibility. And that's why if when something happens, he is the one who is questioned. He is the one who is to answer. He is answerable. Take your life as such, that your life is that big company that maybe you have been having in your mind, that big company, that big business that you have been wanting to establish. Take your life as such, and you are the person at the helm. You are the person taking control. Any action, any activity taking place in that company of yours that we are referring to as life, then you are answerable. You are the one to take charge. You are the one to take control. That's why this wonderful evening I'm calling upon you, my friend. Take control. Take control. Take control of your financial status. Take control of your relationship. Take control of your life in general. Take control. I keep saying this and I'll repeat it for as long as I'm alive, that my life is my responsibility. I'm a hundred percent responsible of what happens in my life. If I fail in my relationship, it is my responsibility. If I get into debt, it's my responsibility. If I become vulgar in my language, then I am who is responsible. If I become a dada head, sorry to say, God forbid, it is me who is responsible. I am the director and the producer of my life. So my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear friend, this wonderful evening I'm calling upon you as we end week 3 of January year 2022, take control of your life. Be the one responsible. Avoid giving excuses. Avoid blaming anyone. There's no one who is responsible for your life. You are the person responsible for your life. You know, when I fail, or when I do something mischievous, if I happen to do, by the way, I don't, I avoid as much as possible to blame any other person. When something goes wrong, and maybe I am part of what has gone wrong, I really, I really blame the other person. I try to look into whatever that has happened, and I ask myself, what was my role? For example, if I was going to a school, if I'm, I'm visiting a school for career guidance and counseling, and I happen to get there on time, okay, maybe I get there, maybe I was to start, just to give an example, I was to start it at around 11 a.m., then I get to that institution at around 10.50, okay, I get at that school at 10.50, and maybe I find that that school is not ready for me. I hardly get to blame this institution and just start saying, didn't they know that I'm coming? Didn't they know? Don't they know that I am busy? Don't they know that I have another place to attend? They don't. I hardly do that. What I ask, the first question that I normally ask is, what is my role? How did I contribute to them not getting settled? Because allow me to share this with you. If only I would have t told the school, whoever is responsible, I tell him, please, may I find you settled by 11 a.m. because I'll be rushing somewhere. So I would like her to start exactly at 11 a.m. If I made that categorical, if I made that clear to that institution, to the person responsible, then I would now say that I'm, I'm free. I'm free from blame. But I will not blame them. So here's the thing. My dear brother, my dear sister, my good friend, take responsibility. That's what all what I'm saying. That take charge of your life. That life does not just happen to you. You should be the one making life happen. Whatever that happens in my life, I am responsible. Whatever that doesn't happen in my life, I am responsible. I choose what to make happen and I choose what not to make happen. So this wonderful evening, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear friend, take responsible of your life. Take responsible of your life. A hundred percent point number two as we wrap up this week three the point number two that i want us to discuss is about our conscious our conscious what do i mean by that yes for you to take charge of your life a part of it requires you to have your conscious alive 
allow me to pronounce it the englishman will maybe not be okay with it but conscience is what sometimes we refer to as conscience that's the wrong pronunciation but for the purposes of you getting it conscience is what we refer to as conscious it's one of the critical things that you require for your life to go into the right direction and number two for you to be able to take charge of your life to take charge of your words to take charge of your status you require your conscious conscious is that inner thing it is that uh, can i call it a spirit it's that inner spirit that inner person who is able to tell you the good thing and the bad thing that inner person who is able to warn you when you are just about to do something wrong and that inner person who is able to commend you when you're just just about to do something right that's the conscious that we are talking about when you are just about to undertake an activity whether it's an activity that you have ever done or it's an activity that you are repeating that inner person that inner thing that inner spirit that tells you that this is wrong you know that's the inner thing that tells you this is wrong or this is right that you are the right thing that you are doing it's what we are referring to as the conscious for the christians we say that god can use your conscience to speak to you that god can use the, my conscience to speak to me so it's very important for us for you for me to learn to make use of my conscience that any time that i'm about to undertake an activity i listen to that inner person is this thing that i'm about to do a good thing or is it a wrong thing learn to listen to the inner person you know sometimes i look into how i am created as a human being and i really appreciate the wonders of our almighty father because i tend to take myself as a very unique being and at the same time as a complicated being that with all factors held constant and with everything running as it should be that i shouldn't be wronging i should not be doing the wrong thing i should be doing the right thing at all times why do i say this because that inner spirit that conscious will always give you or commend you or give you a warning when you are just about to take an activity my dear brother my dear sister my dear friend how often do you listen to your inner conscious how often do you listen to that inner person is it dead for you is your conscious dead because if it is your conscious is dead then you may never find it hard to do an immoral thing allow me to pull bad examples and uh, you forgive me and if i provoke any thinking thinking uh, please forgive me it's all for the purposes of explanation and getting the point home those people who have the gut to rape whether you are raping a female or a male those people who have the guts to kill human beings you know here is the question here is the question and the question that i'd like to ask who is your conscious that means that it's dead and if it is not dead if it is alive and you get to ignore it then you are doing a lot of unjust in your life then you are doing one of the worst things in your life because that inner spirit should always be there to guide you anytime i'm about to undertake an activity even this one this activity of having this life with you is one of the things that i consult my conscience and i ask myself am i doing it the right time am i doing it the right way is it the right thing and my conscience approves and then i go ahead if i get doubts i consult and not only consult but consult widely i get to even consult my friends my seniors my elders i consult them if it's an activity i mean if it's an activity that concerns them or if it's an activity that they maybe give uh, their ideas my dear friend how is your conscious learn to listen to it because if you don't listen to your conscious then you may end up most of the time feeling guilty at the end of the day because your conscious is the one that triggers guilt 
you know that inner person that inner spirit is the one that it triggers guilt let me explain this to you have you ever ever talked ill this is a common thing have you ever talked ill of a person and then you come across him or her and you feel like this person knows that i talked ill of him you know you are feeling guilty that's that guilt you know inside you is what we are referring to as the conscious that guilt or whatever that has activated the guilt sorry whatever that has that is making you feel guilty feel as if this person knows that i talked ill of him or her is the conscious that we are talking about you know have you ever done something good to some people and even they failed to thank you but inside you you feel that you did the right thing you saved a kid somewhere maybe and nobody noted that you know you feel that you are committed you feel good you feel nice about it the activator of that feeling the trigger of that feeling is your conscience and that's what we are talking about how is your conscience how is its state is it alive is it dead because you have the authority to kill it or you have the ability so not the authority but let me say the ability let me use that word is much better that you have the ability to kill that authority i mean that that conscious you have the ability and how do you kill your conscious if you don't listen to it and if you listen to it you ignore it then that's how you end up killing it because the more you ignore the more you ignore the inner person the more you ignore that spirit the more you ignore your conscious then it ends up dying the same way if you are demoralized today tomorrow the day after if everyone keeps on demoralizing you there is nobody who gives you a compliment not even once then the thing is at the end of it all you will fear find no need of doing that thing is the same thing to your conscience that the moment you ignore it for the first time second that as many times at one point it will not work it will not be telling you anything it's going to die and that's how you end up killing your conscience my dear brother my dear sister my dear friend please make a make make make, make it a habit of listening to the inner person uh, allow me to say this that we the young people uh, putting myself into that bracket we are uh, exonerating or we are raising the spirit and also how do i put it uh, allow me to say that we are slowly by slowly raising the spirits of defiance we are slowly by slowly celebrating the spirit of defiance you know this is what i mean and i'm not against I'm not against this, the authors of this song, but there's this common phrase that you definitely where you know you know where you, it comes from, this, the, the the phrase of Sipagwigwi. You know that spirit of Sipagwigwi or that phrase Sipagwigwi. Unknowingly, it's just but raising the spirit of defiance you know it's crowning a kind of crowning the spirit of defiance it's like it's uh, uh, it's uh, like giving way to the spirit of defiance it is accepting in other words it's getting into us it's accepting the spirit of defiance and that's why you find that even the young people or the young person the student these people they will have the guts to tell their parents sipa gui gui and the moment you you raise that spirit of defiance what happens is that you are killing the conscious you may not see this right now but think around it and you'll see it that the moment you keep on uh, for example just to give a bad example here a bad example okay the moment you keep on watching some dirty videos some dirty movies you know and that in a conscious tells you all by yourself by the way in the house maybe like you are in the house all alone and then you get to watch that maybe using your phone through your phone and you your inner conscious tells you that whatever you are doing is not the right thing but there you are you keep on you insist you carry on 
with watching whatever that you are watching that's not good that is immoral then you are killing the inner thing the inner spirit that conscious that we are talking about you know it's a debate that maybe we shall have at a later time at lengthy we how we discuss how we can improve our inner person that is the conscious and how we kill out the conscious is a spirit that we shall have is a, is a debate sorry that we shall have at length but this wonderful evening as we summarize week 3 i want to call upon you that listen to your inner person listen to your inner spirit listen to your conscience thank me later the last thing number 3 as we wrap up week 3 that thing as we wrap up week 3 you want to always feel that feeling of satisfaction that feeling of fulfillment that feeling of yes i have made it if that's what you've been looking for then i want to call upon you and tell you follow your passion follow your interest follow your passion follow your interest what do i mean by that Passion is that thing that you feel that with or without payment I can still do it. With or without I mean uh, somebody who is following up on me I'll still go for it. With or without a supervisor or supervision I'll go for that thing. That's what we mean by passion. You are so passionate about it. You know like I passionate about guidance, passionate about transforming lives. With or without payment I would still do this. You know, something that is me. I feel happy when I do it. Interest is that thing that you are so much interested. You don't need even to take books and maybe go through it, go through about go through whatever that you're interested in. You know, nobody is there to guide you on how to do it, but you go searching. For example, let me give you a good example. Again, using my own self, you know, using my own self as a good example. I'm I'm interested with IT technology so much interested with technology you know I I always find myself reading about tech reading about computing reading about science and technology I'm I'm interested in that field you know I'm interested in the line in the line of coaching I find myself reading about this no supervision nobody is paying me to do that you know that's the interest that you are talking about that is something that you feel that you really need to go for you know passion again something that you know you just love that thing you just love that service you just love doing it you know follow your passion follow your interest because these two will yield fulfillment So if you are that kind of a person who've been for who have been really looking that I want to do something that is fulfilling I want to feel that uh, that that feeling of fulfillment that feeling of yes I'm doing something yes I'm getting happy yes I'm doing the right thing then my dear brother my dear sister my dear good friend for your passion for your interest passion and interest passion plus interest equals fulfillment P plus I equals F you know passion plus interest equals fulfillment if you ever want to feel that feeling of that i'm doing the right thing if you ever want to feel that yes i'm or you are always happy that you are doing the right thing then follow your passion identify your interest these two when you combine the two they'll yield that fulfillment that you've been looking for so my dear good friend as we wrap up with three Those three things that we have talked about. Number one, taking control over your life. Be a hearted person responsible of your life. Number two, listening to your conscience. That inner spirit, that inner person who tends to guide you through the morals and the immorals. That inner person who tends to give you a warning. Follow that. And the last thing, then passion plus interest, which will be equal to your fulfillment. Well, that's it for week 3. I hope that I have benefited someone either mentored, if not if not been mentored, then you have been inspired, if not been inspired, I hope I have motivated you. Feel free to consult, feel free to call upon me. I'm always available for you. So, that's it for week 3. Can always contact me. Feel free to comment as well. 
and until our next week week four and we shall be wrapping up week four have yourself a good time and may the good lord protect you all thank you